Alright everyone, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, Relic, Celeste, Equip, Top Thing, Second Last Thing. Okay. The She also gets optimized for equipment on the way out, which is nice, because I don't have to bother with that now. Because I just happened to equip the Genji Glove last time. There's slightly better I could do in theory, but in practice it really doesn't matter whether I have a green beret or a gold helmet on. It's simply not meaningful enough here. Alright, so just gotta walk up for a while. Thankfully on the way in, the NPCs aren't very likely to send me in the wrong direction for too long at least, despite how much they're milling around in there because the entire town just kind of funnels me into the right spot, so... See, if you look at what I mean, there's no way I can wander off course here. That would be pretty tricky, actually. So yeah, I've hopefully made it to 7. Let's check. I have indeed made it to 7, so here's where the fun begins. Last time segment in the game, I'm gonna be glad to get this out of my way. All the time segments, that is. Hold up until I hear the door. And here we go. Door number two. What's behind that one? Now I need to get to this chest. Hold left a bit. Left and down to the door. No, no battle first. Whatever, that's not a bad spot. It's not gonna in interrupt my step moving counting stuff. Celeste should be able to survive two hits with uh, having a shield. Uh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to... There we go. Could have gone worse. One, two, three. There we go, I got that. That thing's actually a pearl rod, which probably I won't actually throw, but... One down, and now hold left till I get the chest. This chest is virtually useless, but it actually makes it easier to navigate through the building, so I'm not gonna complain about grabbing it. Oh, I got a back attack. I don't think it hurt me that badly, to be honest. Now I can go up to the store. Now I can go up and left till the other door. The doors in here are very, very handy, I must say. I'm going up next, probably. Nice, I escaped again before. Don't want to mess this up. Two, three. I gotta be quiet during... Sometimes when I'm listening for the noises, because if I try to do any commentary at all, I'm gonna miss it. And that would be a disaster in most cases. So, that's kind of why I'm cutting off just randomly a lot. Alright, now hopefully I've made it soon-ish. Right. Got that. One, two, three. Hold up a bit. I can use that battle as a delimiter, I guess. I mean, that's kind of a strange word to use for a random encounter, but... You know, coding language, I guess. Oh, I got another back attack. What a pain. Alright, so this chest up here is really, really handy, and is the big reason why it's feasible to go to the left side of the screen first. It actually makes, because of this other chest up here, that makes it actually faster. Oh, I got hit again. Oh, well, getting hit's more dangerous during a back attack. There we go, got the thing. Alright, left a bit. Yeah, the problem is it's hard to tell when I've got the kid. His dialogue's too short for me to menu trick it up there. Let's go down. Right. This is a scary bit, because I don't know... I don't know how things have gone or how they will go. 
really hard to tell. All the way down. Right one down. Alright, if I hear the door noise on my up and rights, I'm probably good as long as I got the kid. Got a door. Okay. All the way up. Oh, I was supposed to count to three there. Oh well, I'm pretty sure it's all the way up and back one step. That's probably that gill hairpin coming in handy there. If that's true, I only end up taking an extra two steps, wasting about a second. Big deal. I've made good enough time that if I haven't messed up atrociously elsewhere... Alright, now let's just hope I've grabbed that kid properly. That's that Gale Hairpin coming in handy again. I had a minute and 45 left at the end of my uh, test run, and... I didn't have the Gale Hairpin on then, so... I didn't get the two or three preemptive strikes I had there. So yeah, piece of cake. There goes that person's house, I don't really care. Stupid materialistic people having such large mansions. I think her kid would have been completely fine if uh, she just went and went out and got a nice item shop somewhere. One room item shop. Wouldn't have been hard to escape from there, that's for sure. She could have gone in and got the kid herself. Monsters would know she probably wouldn't have even hit an encounter. <laughs> Alright. I now have a Sabin. But I won't equip him here for obvious reasons. One. Two. One. Two. I don't actually need to count out that second one, I can just run up to the wall, but... You know, I, I often try to keep two or three ways of figuring these things out in my head. I mean, if I didn't, I probably would have been really messed up when I forgot to go three up and after the one door. I wouldn't have known that I can go to the top and take one step back. Always good to have a fallback plan. <laughs> Even when you're not expecting to use it at all. And besides, sometimes if you're somewhat lost, knowing the dimensions of rooms can help, even if uh, you're not going on any sort of plan whatsoever. Here we go. Made it out. That went about as well as it could have. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. One try for a timed segment. Not too much effort preparing, but Brave New Worlds is going to be worse. See you next time.